Hey guys, I am Isol and welcome to another video. This is a very quick and simple tutorial on how to install Forge and mods for Minecraft 1.16.4. This is 1.16.4. This is a mod. This is the Patani mod and we're going to get straight into the video on how to install it. The first thing that you will need to do is go into Google, type in Forge Minecraft and the very first website that comes up is files.minecraftforge.net. Remember, this is for the PC version of Minecraft, so you will have to have Java installed. You then click on Minecraft Forge and that's going to bring you to the Forge website. You want to make sure that this is for the latest version, which is 1.16.4 up here. Click on this. You can show all versions and you can download the version that you want. However, the most recent one will be up here in this main box and click on installer. Once you click this, it's going to bring you to an add focus page. On the top right hand side of the screen here, you're going to see a countdown timer. Wait for that countdown to skip. When it skip appears, press that don't press anything else on this web page please and on the bottom left inside of the screen you're going to get your download on your web browser it will come up with a warning will say this file will harm your computer it will not this is a jar file it's just a warning by your pc you can press keep it is not going to give you a virus or anything however always only download files from reputable websites like minecraft forge or curse forge once the download has finished click on the arrow go to show in folder that will then bring you to your downloads folder. Double click on this and it will come up with this little box here and you want to install a client. So press OK and that will then install Forge onto your Minecraft client. Once that has been successfully installed, you will get this message that says successfully installed. Press OK. We are then going to open up Minecraft again because we now need to install Forge and make sure it's set up correctly for our PC. Go into your installations. In here, you should now see a new installation which says Forge and this is 1.16.4 Forge 35.0.2. Press on the three buttons here to edit. Once you've done that, you can change the name here if you wish. You can also check the resolution and click on more options. You should be putting a minimum of two G here. This is the amount of RAM that you've allocated over to Minecraft. When you're dealing with mods, you do need to make sure that you're allocating enough RAM. I would recommend at least two gigabytes here. Press save. And then we are going to create a new version here. So we're going to press play and then Minecraft will load up again. You get this new screen because obviously we're using a mod loader and we've got two mods installed from Minecraft 1.16.4. The two mods are actually Minecraft and the Forge loader something very very simple once we've done that we can press quit again the next thing that we want to do is go back into google and this time we're looking for curseforge because we want to download a mod so go to curseforge again link in the description of this video go to minecraft go to mods and then over here you can see all versions we want to make sure we're selecting this for 1.16.4 the mod that i'm going to choose today is Britannia. but if you want to download your mod you need to go over to recent files over here, you're going to see the most recent files, 1.14, 1.15, and 1.16. This is obviously from 1.16. Click on Minecraft 1.16. We now want to make sure that this is for the correct version. So Minecraft 1.16.4. And it's going to give us our download here. I'm going to press download. We are going to get the same warning. This file type may harm your computer. It will not press keep. We now have our mod downloading here. Again, I'm going to go to our downloads folder. The next step can be a little bit tricky because we need to know where our Minecraft mods folder is. Open up your file directory and finding your Minecraft folder can be a little bit tricky at times. So the first thing that you need to do is go to view up here and make sure that hidden items is ticked. If it's unticked, make sure that it is ticked. The next thing you want to do is you can do this two ways. You can go directly from your hard drive into your users, into your username, into your app data folder, into your roaming folder, into your .minecraft folder, and then into your mods folder. When you load Forge, you're going to automatically have a mods folder. The quick way that you can do this is just type in up here, percentage app data and percentage and press enter and that will bring you straight into your roaming folder you can then go into dot minecraft and then you have your mods folder in here we also need to be able to open up the download and the download is over here into your downloads folder and i have the botania mod in here which i'm going to then just pop into my mod folder the botania mod is quite a large mod and it also requires two other mods to work with it i have the downloads over here it requires curious forge and also patchouli 
I am then going to relaunch Minecraft. These are now in my Minecraft folder, in my mods folder, and I'm going to press play. We now have five mods loaded from Minecraft 1.16.4. If I click on the mods folder here, it will say I've got Minecraft and Forge. Now I also have Curious API, Britannia, and Patchouli. So, so if I press done, and I'm going to go back into my single player world from earlier on. And we've just loaded in with Britannia, with the armor that I was wearing from Britannia. And just to prove that we are in 1.16.4, there you go. So guys, that is how you download and install Forge and mods from Minecraft 1.16.4. Very, very simple. I left all promotion in this video right to the end. I didn't want to take away from the video. But guys, if you do want to support me and my channel, it would be great if you hit the subscribe button. It's free and you can also unsubscribe at any time. Make sure you are downloading your mods from the likes of Curse Forge. Guys, that is the best way to support the developers of these mods. The mod authors are fantastic and the amount of work that they do to put into these mods is unreal. If you haven't checked out the Batania mod, I would seriously suggest that you do check it out. It's a very simple mod. It is a magic technology mod with so much going on, all based on mana, which I'm producing over here at the background with these lovely flowers and also these mana spreaders into a mana pool, which is pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that's enough rambling from me. I am ISO. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial from Minecraft 1.16.4 Forge and Mods. Hope you found it useful, guys. See you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.